One of the uh, uh, major projects we're working on now is examining the interaction between the immune system and um, antibiotic resistant bacteria, especially staph infections, which are becoming antibiotic resistant, are becoming a major life-threatening infection, especially in a hospital setting. Actually, it's estimated that more people will die from uh, staph infections that are resistant to antibiotics than people who are infected with HIV. So it's, it's not only prevalent in the hospital, but it's growing at an alarming rate. In addition to seeing antibiotic resistant bacteria in the hospital setting, we're actually starting to see in the community setting, which means um, when some, a, a child, for example, skins his knee in the playground, typically you could just, you know, wash it out and put a bandage on it. Now because these antibiotic resistant bacteria are moving from the, the hospital to the community, in, many, in some cases, these children come down with severe, often life-threatening infections. So new ways to treat these, these infections and to treat the side effects associated with these infections are critical. The research we're, we're conducting here is not necessarily trying to find a new antibiotic or a new way to kill these bacteria. What we're trying to do is tr to limit the immune response to these bacteria uh, or more specifically, we're trying to limit the overzealous immune response that develops following exposure to these bacteria. What we're finding is that these bacteria, once they establish an infection, are able to produce different toxins, or what are known as superantigens, which cause the immune system to become highly active or overreactive in such a way that they not only are able to kill the bacteria, but they actually end up doing a severe or significant damage to normal uninfected tissue and in particular we're interested in looking at what happens in the lung. Our goal here is to try to find treatments so that we can dampen the immune response such that it is still capable of getting rid of the bacteria but at the same time it's not so strong that it ends up doing damage to the normal tissue.